the way you were getting it trapped when you rolled over. Now, if you get it trapped, none of the movements from there is going to work. You have to do something completely different. So that's the most important thing is you keep that leg out the way so it doesn't get trapped. Now, from this position, if this is the position that I do all the time, which it is, people get used to it. So this hand, they keep away so that no matter how far I reach, I can't get it. Because they know what's coming. They know if I manage to get that, it's going over. So they're going to keep that away. And what that means is that now all of this space is free. So now I change and I just go onto the strangle. So from here, I just make sure that I'm in a good position. So I can't be on my side here. I have to be up, sitting up. So from here, this hand shoots underneath and it's going to come right across his neck here and I'm going to shoot it out as far as I can. So from here, I'm going to shoot up and at the same time, I use my shoulder to come underneath his armpit to drive that arm forward. So from here, shoot it up and we're shooting up and I'm putting lo as much pressure through his head as I can. And from here, I'm going to come underneath his head and then my fingers are going to go in the inside of the sleeve of the kit on my other hand. So, fingers in here. Now, I put pressure on again, so I haven't let the pressure go, but I put even more pressure, and then, as I release that pressure, because at the moment this is really uncomfortable for him, as I release that pressure, it'll get a little bit of space here. Do you see that? But that only happens if you put enough pressure through him to begin with. If I don't put pressure in, he's not going to bring that arm down and I won't get the space. So from here, loads of pressure. As I release, this hand is then going to come up, cross onto here, and all I do is twist my sleeves in together. So this is the position. From here, in, and then just twist your blades in. Do it from the beginning again. So exact same start as before. Making sure that I'm not on my side. I need to be up like this. I'm trying to get that hand, he's keeping it away. No matter what hand I try and use, I can't get it. Now there's all this space, I come up, I drive through his armpit, using my shoulder, I shoot my hand through as high as I can. I then bring it round his neck, fingers into my sleeve on the other kit, put even more pressure, you can see, I'm using all the pressure I can. Then as I release it in that split second, this hand is gonna flip and come on the other side of his neck. So here, and straight on to the strap. Did anyone get that? I just wanted to show the strand a bit. 